before we get into it, I, I got to shout out Polychroma Games for giving me and so many other people an experience that no other company has ever delivered. And uh, I pray to any and all higher beings that these people get the recognition and respect that they deserve for what they did with Until Then. Hey, yo, let me put y'all on game, right? Until Then is a masterpiece that you probably won't play because you're too stubborn to expand your gaming palette. Now let me get into some history. How did I come across until then? Because this game wasn't on my radar, right? It wasn't on my radar. One day I open up Opera GX and I see it on the release calendar as a demo. And I'm like, oh shit, that shit looks kind of dope. The pixel art looks kind of cool. Let me download the demo. I never played the demo, right? Cool. Two weeks pass, I get Instagram ads calling the game a masterpiece. I'm like, I've never, I don't get Instagram ads for anything. And now I get Instagram ads for this random demo that I downloaded. This game is calling to me so i bought it and i played it until then has three endings you can get and it's not like other games where you get to the end and then you choose the ending you want or you do a quest and it unlocks another ending no you play through the, your uh, you play through your first playthrough and then at the end of those credits you get put into the second one and i'd assume it does the same after the second into the third you know what i'm saying i haven't started the second yet this is all being recorded after the first playthrough and these this this is my this is how the game has me okay i'm broken i feel like i've been told that i can grow that i can do more that i can be more i've been shown love i've been shown that there are people that care i've been shown that things can be better moving on isn't so hard when you have people around you to help you move forward just for the puzzle i've been putting together this whole time i just to open my eyes and see that there's that there's a piece missing from the puzzle. Meet Mark, right? Mark is a lazy procrastinator who spends his time grinding an MMORPG. But he really just needs to find that spark to wake up that sleeping genius in his head. Then we got the other characters. We got Ryan, Kathy, Rydell, Luis, Sophia, some new girl named Kate. I don't really know if she plays a bigger part in playthroughs two and three, but I felt like I should mention her. And Nicole Laxamana. I forgot to mention a certain character. He's not a main character or really a side character, but my dog, Justin. Okay, dap me up. Oh my God, that is my gang. That is my slime. That is my dude. Shout out Justin. Listen, all the characters in this game are amazing, fantastic from how they're built up and the relationships they have with Mark, the relationships they have with each other, it's genuinely something special that uh, I think more games need to focus on because as amazing as it is to have good combat or great gameplay mechanics, personally, if I literally don't care about anything going on in the actual game, why am I playing it? You feel me? Another big thing, the, the art, listen, the art. If, if you don't think pixel art is your type of thing, you're wrong, okay? Because it, the way this game does the art with 2D and, and a bit of 3D and the way that, that the set pieces are put together, it, it's amazing. That, that wasn't even a part of the script. I just needed to point it out. I just needed to. The music in this game comes in and out in important scenes. When the music isn't playing, there's just this perfect ambient noise literally matching where you are perfectly from being in an empty class and hearing students in the halls to to birds chirping outside your window or children playing in the streets or cars playing their music way too loud driving down your street late at night it's impressive just how good the sound design is in this game the attention to detail all the things in this game it, it, it's immersive. Now listen, right, I had finished recording the things that I had scripted, but I felt like I need to bring this to your attention, right? There are times in this game where you'll just be having a normal conversation, there's no music, it's just the ambient noise in the background, and then boom. Tell me, did you ever have a strong deja vu? So strong you feel highly confident that it happened, but it actually didn't? No, probably, just small ones. 
I forget about in no time. You see, I talked to three other people, and we're sharing- At the snap of the fingers, there's an effect around the border. It's slowly zooming, and you guys start talking about something, but it's like, you, you're, you feel- anxious you, you you've got this anxiety you're kind of scared because you don't know what's happening or why it's happening this music starts playing in your ears it's kind of eerie there's eerie sounds that you're, you're uncomfortable and then boom snap of the fingers it's back to normal like nothing happened it's crazy it's masterful work it's masterful work i don't know how they did this but it's masterful work hey guys what's up you see that shit? You see that shit? How you're having a you're having a normal conversation, a normal conversation, and then it starts zooming in. The effect on the border, the music kicks in. You, oh my god! Yo, listen. Honestly, I really, really wanted to do a a good video for this game where I highlight all the great things about this game and plead my case for you to play it and just give it a chance and really try to put this game in the face of more people and honestly like i i, I love this game so much and I'm, I'm not even done with it i genuinely i i want to use the small platform that i have to try to put this game in the faces of as many people as possible because this is something special and and i want to do this video justice but i, I can't this this game has literally broken me emotionally i've been staring at this google doc for over an hour literally screaming at the screen no game no movie no manga no piece of fiction i've ever consumed has felt like it's hurt me this much no real life situation has hurt me this much i was so not even was i still am so connected to these characters i see myself so fucking much in one of these characters and i just wanted them to succeed so fucking bad i wanted them to feel like they were ahead like they were good enough so fucking bad and i still have two more playthroughs and i genuinely don't know if i can do it but i need to listen it if you want to see me go through this game i've been streaming it on youtube i know i plugged myself but i've been streaming it on youtube you can watch the past streams it's all in a playlist you see you see me read all of it you know what i'm saying i, I read every single piece of dialogue just for you right uh, like I said, it's all in a place. You can watch them. And then I think I'll, I'll probably start the second playthrough on like Thursday. Uh, I don't know. Is this video going on Tuesday? But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm broken. I need a couple days to recover before I get back into this. If you don't want to, if you don't want to watch all those hours or skim through it or anything like that, then uh, honestly, I'll, I'll let you know. If you want to see me completely break down go to four hours and 32 minutes and start from there on this video or stream and you can watch me break down for nearly two hours straight okay I, it was a lot it was a lot you could just watch it or you could watch all of it you know what i'm saying or you could you could play it man just play it please i'm telling you if 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 this level of raw emotion and passion doesn't even make you consider playing it or watching it, then honestly, I, I, I really don't even know why you're here.